Welcome back guys to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds 2018. Thanks so much for being here and as you can see I um, we are featuring a brand new deck um, which disclaimer I don't know how competitive it will actually be but I do think it has some potential yeah um, it's Cernia's Break combined with Electro GX. Cernia's Break has 150 HP and its live stream attack deals 20 damage for each um, of your energy that you have in play. Kind of like Rayquaza, but this counts for all the energy. Um, Makargo, definitely a very good card. Riahisama, Makargo was definitely a very, very good card. And so, um, let me do this thing really quickly. Should have done this for the previous deck. There we go. So, um, this is an Electro GX deck. We have Cernus Break, and we have um, the 3 2 Electro GX line Electro GX 190 HP, and its ability Extra Energy Bomb. Once during your turn before you attack, you may attach 5 energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon, except Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX, in any way you like. If you do this, Pokemon is knocked out. So. We're going to use Electro GX to attach extra energy to the field and make sure that Cernia's Break is dealing a lot, a lot of damage. Um, it's attack Electro Ball deals 50 damage and Crush and Burn GX deals 30 damage and you discard any amount of energy from your Pokemon and this attack does 50 more damage for each card you discard it in this way. But we are not running any Lightning Energy so these attacks are not very relevant. Um, as I am seeing this list I think I actually want to play I think I definitely want to play 4 N. Um, counter catchers are good with the Guzmas, and I actually think I want to play TV Reporter here, at the very least 2, because TV Reporter gets us draw cards and we discard. So the first time we're going to be using TV Reporter, um, however, um, let's finish describing the Pokemon. So we have the Electro GX line, we have the Cernia's Break, we also have Geomancy Cernia's, which allows us to attach up to two Fairy Energy to two of our benched Pokemon, therefore um, advancing our energies that way as well. Um, Acrobike could also be pretty good here, but my, some of my friends did try Acrobike and they said it was underwhelming. Yeah, it was unreliable and underwhelming. Um, we have one Lele for draw support, we have one Ranguru for uh, late game and protection. And we have two counter catcher right here, the bearded Bowser. We have two counter catcher right here. Um, excuse me. <laughs> um, so supporters wise, we have four Sycamore to get rid of energy for N to recover after we blow up Electro GX. And we have two TV reporter to make sure that we um, have more access to discarding resources. And finally two Kuzmas as well. Since we're going to be blowing up Electrode more times than not, um, we're going to have um, the double counter catcher as well. And I'm not going to be playing Acrobike, I think, um, in this one. I think I'm going to uh, skip the Acrobike for for this one. Um, we have four Ultra Ball, three Nest Balls to set up our Pokemon. We have one Professor's Letter to search for energy. We have to counter catcher because we are blowing up electrode. We have two field lore and three stadiums to combat Parallel City. And we have three choice bands to maximize our damage output, along with the rescue stretcher to get back Cernia's break lines. Ten basic fairy energy for DCs round out the deck. And so let's 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 go into a ladder and see if this deck actually can do anything against the spreading decks that we seem to be facing over and over again that are currently very popular in the ladder. Yeah, we'll see this deck more for fun than competitive. I don't expect to see this deck at Worlds, but it could be an interesting idea. And it won't be usable after Worlds because of the rotation, so why not give it a try? Right, we're giving it a genuine... Okay. Show me what you're made of. And hello, Arcaros. We start off with a Voltorb. That's fine. Um, we don't have any energy to discard off of that Ultra Ball. So I might hold off on playing it. Might just Nest Ball for uh, Cernias and Passeruni. And we're up against Zoro Guardi here. So we have the Cernias. We don't have any Pokemon prized, I believe. Right? Yeah, we don't have any of our Pokemon prized. 
we have um, one Ultra Bowl prized, one Stadium prized, one Kuzma prized, one DCE prized, two Fairy Energy prized, so three total Energy prized. Which is definitely not great when what you're trying to do is get as many energy into play as you can. Okay, so I get an energy, which is decent. I don't want to discard it with the Ultra Wall. Electrode retreats for one energy, and so we shall pass here. Not the best start, not the most explosive start by any means. We're gonna see the raw Bridget for my opponent. We did mulligan once, apparently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we did mulligan once. Okay, the Ultra Ball here is nice because I'm hoping off of the Sycamore I'll be able to find more um, energy. I'm gonna be setting up the Cernias. I fully expect my opponent to be playing Parallel City. And now the big issue is the 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 guardy the guardy will be able to run through our serious breaks like butter i do manage to find an energy which is nice well not particularly great i might end up using electro gx to reload later yeah don't want an extra energy bomb that's two energy that i'll be able to get back and i will just geomancy for now onto these two of course I don't know why it makes you do this. It's like what you can't pick any other energy. So why does it make you click on the fairy? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. You see a Zork here. Double Zork. Trades away the parallel. Interesting. That's good news. That is actually good news. I know Mallow means probably no Guardi here. We only have three energy total in play though, so far. I'm not playing Elixirs because I am playing Electrode. Electrode means two more energy. That would be 130 damage so far. So not quite there in terms of damage output, right? Uh, my opponent finds the DCE and hits for 80 because of resistance. That's fine. So, ooh, this is potentially very good. Well, not quite actually. Just gonna grab one because I wanna geomancy those other two. I'm gonna geomancy those other two. And I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna discard these two. I'm gonna grab a Lele. And with Lele, I think I'm gonna go for TV Reporter? No. no. I'm gonna go for Sycamore. Losing the Field Lower sucks, but I don't have an option here. And this is where I wanna see DCEs, not. Um, I wanna see DCEs, not. Not fairies. And I did find a fairy. Okay. So with the DC and the three energy, can I get a knockout on the Zork? If I do, and then I lose the Cernias, I'm in trouble, right? One, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not enough. It is not enough. Therefore, okay, I think I'm gonna attach and I'm gonna retreat. And I'm gonna Geomancy with this. Um, Cernias, only one energy though. There's only one energy left because we priced two of them. It's really sad. Okay, so now we have, <laughs> we didn't advance our game state. We have the same three energy. Now there's five in the discard pile. So that's 100, 160, 200, okay. So we have a one shot next turn. Right, we have a one shot next turn. If I can find a stadium and attack with a brand new Cernias, that would be ideal. To conserve my choice bands. And if I blow up my electrode, 
Um, I will definitely combine it, be combining that with an N. So it's basically gonna come down to ooh, the, the field blower hurts kind of. One, two, three, plus five, that's eight energy. 10, 12. So I don't need the choice vent just yet. We're gonna see an Ultra Ball for. I'm hoping Zork, but I'm assuming. Guardy? Yeah, there's a Guardy. Yikes. And he chose to discard a DCE. Really strange. Worst case scenario for us would have been Bird Candy Galate, DCE, KO, Kuzma, KO, Electrode. That would have been a nightmare. And we're gonna see a Riot Chief leading. Perfect. Okay. Only three cards, so interesting. So actually, N does not seem the right play. Or, no, never mind. N is the right play. N is 100% the right play. So I'm gonna DC the Lele. Correct. And I'm gonna blow up the Electrode. And attach one. Two, three, four. Oh, I can't attach to this guy, so five. Ugh. Not a big fan of doing that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten energy. That's 200 damage. So I actually do need the choice band. Jeez. And I'll end. Then this guy knocks me out. Yeah. My damage output is just too low. I might have to blow up another electrode. <laughs> I'm gonna set up another electrode or another Voltorb. I might have to blow up another electrode to get the game on the Guardi. And live stream. Okay, so 230 damage. We get the one shot. Get the one shot, we get a DCE and an ultra wall of our prize cards. The DC is kind of important. Field lower, that's fine. Decided to promote the Zorg though. I mean he must be hoping for a Kuzma, right? And he could Kuzma KO this guy. If he Kuzma KOs the Lele, I think that would be his best play. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, I actually, if he Guzma KOs this guy because it has 4 energy, that would be the best thing. Please don't KO my Lele. Oh, he can't KO my Lele. Never mind. He actually can't KO my Lele. Okay, we have a chance. We have a genuine chance here. We have a very, very genuine chance. Uh, except not really. Ah, oh, because I didn't bench this turn, yes. I mean, my opponent needs a DC. That's what he needs to win. Ah, oh, if I'd benched this turn, yes. I was just afraid of the parallel. Um. Uh, Alex. I don't know. I think both are good options. Whichever one you think will challenge you more. Probably Zoro Garb is more challenging. Probably Zoro Garb is more challenging. I would say go for that one. Oh, if I had benched this Cernias, I would have been in a great position here. Okay. I need to KO the Guardi. And I'm not going to be able to end here. I believe I have to blow up another electrode. If I could attack with a brand new, that would be amazing. Yeah, another extra energy bomb. I need my energy back, please. So one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once again, my opponent gets two prizes. As expected. And then I'll DC here. And I've played three ends so far. I think it's worth it to try and grab the last N of a foreign guru. Odds are not great, but 
I have to try, right? I have to try. Ooh, and I do get it. Okay, that's good. That is good. So then, I'm gonna need to find a counter catcher in order to win next turn if my opponent whiffs the TCE. <sighs> Can my opponent get TCE? The Guzma doesn't matter, he has enough targets. Oh, if I had been attaching with this brand new one, that would be insane. Oh, come on. <laughs> N21 gets the TCE. 27 cards left. 27 cards left. Two TCEs gone. N21, it's the TCE. That's twice this has happened in the stream. I delinquented a raid to zero. Top deck Guzma. I end this guy down to one. Gets a TC. Two TCs left. And to one. It's like if you get it off of trade, fine. Right? Fine. And to one gets a TC. If if I had benched that Xerneas. I guess I should have played to that. Because my opponent paralleled, I was in a bad situation anyways, because I would have lost the Volt Turb. I mean, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Um, not the greatest start, not the worst. I'm gonna lay it for Cynthia. Can't attach this one. And we're up against a metal deck. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, turn one Bridget for my opponent. At least no parallel here, which is nice. That's good. Have I tested Metal Magneton with Cartana GX? No, Cartana GX deals so little damage. Why would you combine that with Magneton? You combine Magnuson with something that can one-shot like Dustmain, but Cartana GX is terrible. As an attacking option, as your main attacking option, Cartana GX is absolutely atrocious. Okay. Who wants to bet my opponent had already rare candy Magnuson here? I'm gonna attach one choice band, and I'm gonna end. I need a fairy, please. There we go. Uh, not the greatest follow-up, but we'll take it, and I got to Geomancy. Seven, six, seven, eight, nine. So one fairy prize. I did. I forgot to check that. I forgot to check that. Mount Corona, Choice Band. That doesn't help him get a KO, we get end, that's fine. I will take it, it saves me from playing an end. We did get a Voltorb down though. There's gonna be the Voltorb. And the DC might actually go to the Orange Guru. Octillery set up and ready to go. Mount Coronet chooses not to Mount Coronet, which I think is a small mistake, probably. I'm gonna do this, and then I'll end my opponent. I want another Cernias here. Perfect. Okay, this is a pretty decent hand. Like, if I use Electro to recover later in the game, that's even better than using it to just get a knockout early on. So I'll do this and this. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven energy in play. That's 140, one, 140, 170. So I could actually get a knockout next turn on this dust main. Ultra Ball for Magneson, I imagine. Or at the very least, the middle stage. 
But no, there's a Magnus Hall, so I already have to wear candy. Field blower? What? So I guess he doesn't have the rare candy yet, which is good. What do you think is better deck for the fun tournament? Alex, um, I mean, I think the more challenging one for you will be Zorogarb. I think you should play Zorogarb because it's gonna be more challenging. Yeah. I'm gonna TV reporter. This? Yeah, I think I have KO here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have KO. I actually have KO. I'm gonna discard the counter catcher because I'm actually gonna be taking a lead here. I have one Electro GX price. That's important to know. So I'll evolve here. I will attach, I will choice bend, I will instruct for one, guaranteed, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus 30. 190 damage so we are able to start off applying pressure to my opponent get another counter catcher the Cernus break is an important card here and then if if big if if we lose the Cernus break here we can just um electro gx back the energy and get another ko right away my opponent however chooses to bring up the voltorb which is understandable and is trying to get the rare candy. Can he get it off of one card? I'm hoping the answer is no, but it's a possibility. Mount Coronet gets back energy, that's fine. If I had a Guzma here, it would be insane. Um, no, I can't Guzma. I can't Guzma this turn, right? What I can do, and <laughs> you're welcome, Alex. What I can do is this, and any energy I use to retreat is completely fine. Right? Losing that Cernias is no big deal. Okay. I actually get to keep the energy. I actually get to keep the energy because I got the stadium. So I'll do this and then I'll retreat into the non-choice banded one. No reason to lose the choice band. And we shall live stream here. Next turn, there is some merit. If my opponent doesn't find another Magnemite or doesn't get the Magnet Zone, there is merit to using Kuzma to KO the Magnet Zone. But at this point, if he knocks out Voltor, that's okay, because I have enough energy in play. If he knocks out the Xerneas, that's okay. Uh, this N kind of hurts though. This N could be the reason why I whiff the Electro GX. Or never mind, I can just draw it naturally. <laughs> That's amazing. A little hand for one. This should be game. Yeah, that's game. Okay, so we get a win with the Cernius Break deck. Very nice. Let's do one more game. Let's do one more game before we finish the stream. Do one last game here. So Electrode watching over us ends up being very good, right? Ends up being very, very good. Okay, I would like to go first. And we got a decent-ish start, not the best. Yeah, decent dish is a stretch though. <laughs> okay, we're going first. I don't need to bench the Voltorb yet. Oh, and we're up against Greninja. And Bread Buddies? No, I don't usually do um, viewer battles only on Friday. Yeah, because there's a lot of people who want to battle. So choosing you over someone else would be a little unfair, you know? Do um, you think Ultra and Krozma has a shot in the opener worlds? Yeah, Malmar Ultra and Krozma is an okay deck. It's just, it really struggles against Zorak decks, and that's its biggest issue. Yeah, it really struggles against Zorak decks. Okay, we're gonna see a bubble here at Tails, which is good. And, I mean, at least we get 
to use that. We can't Brooklet heal for anything. We will be able to start thinning the deck, which is nice. So I think I'm gonna use a Kuzma here. Why am I using Kuzma? Because it might make my opponent whiff the turn to water to Brigitte. Yeah, it might actually make my opponent whiff the turn to water to Brigitte. Getting energy on the Volturb though really sucks. Because that's energy you lose immediately once you blow up Electrode. If I get a chance to blow up Electrode. Which is not looking very likely. Okay, there's a Frogadier. There's a Starmie. Please end me. Yes, perfect. Okay, very happy with that end. Very, very happy with that end. And that's okay. That's okay for the end. And Okay. So I want to evolve here. Gonna evolve here and then gonna nest ball for another Cernius, right? Gonna bench that. Twice Sycamore here? I think so, right? I think I just Sycamore here. I'm looking for a fairy to KO the frog at here. I think. Yeah. It's just I haven't been able to discard energy. I didn't get any energy to discard right here. I'll get this just to thin. I'll evolve here as well. And I want to get this KO. This is going to be a very tough matchup though. It's going to be a very tough matchup. <laughs> Magic Art Festival song indeed. Magic Art Festival song indeed. Okay. <laughs> I don't have that set up in a lexicon. I unfortunately do not have that set up. Okay, my opponent will go for shadow stitching, which is fair, I guess. Um, I'll evolve to protect. Evolve to protect. I'll do this, I guess. I want to stick more, I think, here. Grab this. Oh, are you serious? No energy? Wow. No energy is actually insane here. No energy is just like no TCs and no fairies is just really bad. That sets us that that sets us very far behind. Very, very far behind. And there's Ultral for the Lily. No, for Greninja break, okay. So, Sycamore, clean Sycamore here. No, N, okay. So my opponent might be tempted to knock us out here, which means Electrode gets activated. Or he can just double Greninja break and then be completely fine. Yeah, that's game. There's no way we can recover from this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, with a DC, we do one-shot the Greninja. 
Except we didn't find a TCU. We haven't seen a single one. <sighs> yeah. That's game. He will Giant Warrior Shuriken, get a KO, and he will Shadow Stitching. Ooh, Counter Catcher? What? Why would you Counter Catcher? Before you see who I promote. Well, I guess... Okay, my play here is to goose my KO this Starmie. That's my only real play here. Right? At least I can do that. That kind of helps. And yeah. I mean, we lost the stretcher, so... There's no way we can recover from this. There's absolutely no way we can recover from this. I don't think there's any way we can recover from this. Yeah. Very nice. He just had the two raw water energy in his hand. <laughs> Yeah. Will Electro GX be good in Beast Box? No, not at all. Not at all. Electro GX is not only not an Ultra Beast, but um, Naganadel attacks for one energy. Um, so you don't need to recover energy, and Electro GX can't attach to GX Pokemon, so you can't power up uh, Buzzle GX, you can't power up Dos Mini Cruzma. It would actually be awful. And yeah, I'm gonna concede here. That's gonna be game. So yeah, guys, this deck, a bit on the gimmicky side. Um, it has some potential, I guess. Um, but it's just, it requires too much setup. It requires too much setup, and as is the case with a lot of the new decks, they're super, super weak to Prowl CD, and that's a big deal. Because Prowl CD is everywhere in the most competitive decks. So that pushes, like, the brand new ideas, They put it pushes them out of the competitive um viability realm if you will um but once the format rotates a lot of different ideas um and a lot of good cards that are fringe right now might become better yeah so that's gonna be it from me guys thank you so much for watching thanks so much for hanging out with me and i think i will be seeing you guys on monday for more celestial storm decks i'll try to prepare some new ones or maybe i'll do something like 10 games of rayquaza gx something like that. Um, do you think you could see Parallel being banned in the future? No, I'm feeling Parallel is being rotated um, out of standard on the 1st of September, so it's getting banned naturally by the rotation. Um, and that's when everything will, will end up um, changing and opening up new ideas and strategies. Yeah? Alex, should you play the link within Zoro Garb? Yes, I think it would be good because you'll catch a lot of people off guard, especially in a best of one setting. I assure you there will be situations where people will misplay into the delinquent, which is really good. And yeah, guys, that will be all for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you until 